Welcome to a lesson on the household system of measurement. In this lesson we will define household volume units of measure and then convert between household units of measure using proportions. The household unit of measure is the most commonly used system of measurement in homes of the United States, usually in the kitchen. The units are given here on the left with their abbreviations on the right. We have a drop, teaspoon, tablespoon, fluid ounce, cup, pint, quart, and gallon. And here are the conversions between units. One teaspoon equals sixty drops, one tablespoon equals three teaspoons, one ounce equals two tablespoons, one cup equals eight ounces, one pint equals two cups, one quart equals two pints, and one gallon equals four quarts. In this lesson, to perform the conversions, we'll be using proportions where a proportion states that two ratios or rates are equal. So if A to B and C to D are two equal ratios, once we set them equal to each other, this is a proportion. And what's special about a proportion is that the cross products are always equal as long as the units of A and C are the same and the units of B and D are the same. So again, if we have a proportion, then A times D must equal B times C. The reason this helps is because if one of these four values is unknown, we can cross multiply and solve for the unknown. As an example, let's say your car gets 28 miles per gallon and you want to determine how far you can drive on three and a half gallons of gas. Well, 28 miles per gallon is a rate which we see here in fraction form. We can set this equal to x to 3.5 gallons, where x is the number of miles that you can drive on 3.5 gallons. And now we can cross multiply and solve for x. So ignoring the units for a moment, one times x would be x, so x must equal 28 times 3.5. So again we'd have x equals 28 times 3.5, which is 98, and we can see the units would be miles. Let's look at some more conversions. Here we want to convert two teaspoons to drops, so we'll set up two ratios comparing teaspoons to drops using this information with the unknown and one of our conversions. So we'll have two teaspoons to an unknown number of drops must equal, looking at our conversions, one teaspoon to sixty drops. Notice how we have teaspoons on the top and drops on the bottom. Now we can cross multiply and solve for x. x times one, which is x, must equal two times sixty, which is one hundred twenty. Which means two teaspoons is equal to one hundred twenty drops. Next we have half a tablespoon equals a certain number of teaspoons. So now we'll have two ratios comparing tablespoons and teaspoons. One half tablespoon to an unknown number of teaspoons, let's say x teaspoons, must equal, looking at our conversions, notice one tablespoon equals three teaspoons. And notice that tablespoons are on top, so we'll have one tablespoon to three teaspoons. And again, now we'll cross multiply to solve for x. Here we have x times one, which is x, must equal one half times three, that would be three halves. So we have three halves of a teaspoon. Let's convert this to a mixed number or a decimal. So we'd have three divided by two, there's one, two, and three. One times two is two, we subtract. We have a remainder of one, which means three halves is equal to one and one half which would be 1.5. Now we want to convert drops to teaspoons. So now we'll have two ratios comparing drops to teaspoons. 45 drops to an unknown number of teaspoons must equal, we already know that one teaspoon equals 60 drops. Notice how we have drops on top, so we must have 60 drops on top and one teaspoon in the denominator. And now we'll cross multiply. 
Notice here we have x times 60, that would be 60x equals 45 times 1, that's just 45. Here we have to solve for x by dividing both sides by 60. So we have x equals 45 sixtieths, which does simplify. These two do have a common factor of 15. 45 divided by 15 is 3, and 60 divided by 15 is 4. So 45 drops is equal to 3 fourths of a teaspoon. Next we want to convert tablespoons to ounces. So we'll have two ratios comparing tablespoons to ounces. So we have five tablespoons to an unknown number of ounces. Must equal, notice here that one ounce equals two tablespoons, but tablespoons must be in the numerator or on top, so we'll have two tablespoons to one ounce. And now again we cross multiply. So we have x times two, that's two x, equals five times one, that's five, Divide both sides by two. We have x equals five halves. Let's convert that to a mixed number or a decimal. Five divided by two, there are two twos and five. Two times two is four, subtract so remainder of one. So this would be two and one half, or 2.5. Let's go ahead and write two and one half. Now we want to convert eight ounces to tablespoons, so we'll have two ratios comparing ounces to tablespoons. First ratio is eight ounces to an unknown number of tablespoons. Must equal, we just saw that one ounce equals two tablespoons. Ounces is on top, so we'll have one ounce to two tablespoons. Cross multiply, here we have x times one, that's x equals eight times two, that's 16. So eight ounces equals 16 tablespoons. Next we want to convert 12 teaspoons to tablespoons. So we'll have two ratios comparing teaspoons to tablespoons. And again the conversion is one tablespoon equals three teaspoons. So we'll have three teaspoons over one tablespoon. Notice how the units are the same on the top and on the bottom. And now we cross multiply. So x times three would be three x equals twelve times one is twelve. Divide both sides by three. And we have x equals four. So twelve teaspoons equals four tablespoons. We are running short on time. But I do want to take a look at one more example where, where there's not a direct conversion provided here in the table. So let's go and take a look at this last example here where we want to convert 28 pints to gallons. Again, there's no conversion in the table that converts pints directly to gallons. But we can convert pints to quarts and then quarts to gallons. So we have an option of using two proportions or using unit fractions. To keep it consistent, let's go ahead and use proportions. So instead of setting up a ratio from pints to gallons, we're going to set up a ratio comparing pints to quarts first. So we'll have 28 pints to an unknown number of quarts must equal, again the conversion is one quart equals two pints, so we'll have two pints to one quart, cross multiply. We have x times two, that's two x, equals 28 times one, that's 28. Divide both sides by two. Notice how x is equal to 14, which means 28 pints is equal to 14 quarts. And now we'll convert the quarts to gallons. So again we'll have 14 quarts to x number of gallons must equal, one gallon equals four quarts. The quarts must go on top, so four quarts to one gallon. 
and we cross multiply again. So x times 4, that'd be 4x. And 14 times 1, that's 14. Divide both sides by 4. We have x equals 14 fourths. These two have a common factor of 2. So we can say x equals 7 halves. But to convert this to a mixed number or decimal, we'd have to perform this division. 7 divided by 2. There are 3 2's and 7. 3 times 2 is 6. And we subtract. The remainder is 1. So 7 halves is equal to 3 and 1 half, or 3.5. Let's leave it as 3 and 1 half. The other option here would be to use unit fractions, which I do show in a different lesson. I hope you found this helpful.